Who do you think comes out of the debate looking like a winner? I think debates are irrelevant. Luckily, they're cutting the mics out on Trump so they can actually speak. So here he is standing outside of the debate. Phenomenal debate tonight. I think it's that chance for them to really show who they are as a leader and the type of society they want to build. At the end of the day, who do you think won the debate, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Who looked better? (sighs) It's it's a scary situation. Trump looked like he's getting the upper hand. Don't want to admit it, but it is what it is. I'm here outside of the debate here in Atlanta, Georgia, and it is a bit weird. This is just speculation, observation. They got a bunch of walls out right now. We can't get close. It turns out if you do want to keep people out of an area, walls actually do work. And thank you guys so much (laughs) for the support on the last video. 10,000 likes. That was amazing. Let's see if we can beat it on this video. Give this video a like right now. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in the future. With with more debates coming up, we're going to keep doing these videos. Right now, we're going to start asking you who they think is going to win the debate, and then eventually, once the debate is over, who won the debate. This is going to be interesting. I'm excited to hear the reactions of these people here in Atlanta. Hindsight is tomorrow. Yeah. The debate is over. Who wins? Oh, Donald Trump 100%. Sleepy Joe out of here, bro. (laughs) Kidding me? You don't think Joe's got a chance? No, not a chance. Unless they, like, put him on a bunch of... Who do y'all think won the debate? And before I give my opinion on who I think won, I really want to know, like, what the majority of citizens think. Because if you were watching that debate, (laughs) if you were watching that debate, I think there should be a pretty obvious answer on who had the upper hand throughout the entirety of it. But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to hearing different opinions on what... The mass media or the or the citizens of Georgia think secret drugs and stuff. Then maybe what kind of drugs do you think they'd have to put them on? Like Adderall, like some crazy type of Adderall, probably. A good B12 shot in the <laughs> might do it for them. Say the debate is over. Hindsight is tomorrow. Who do you think comes out of the debate looking like a winner? I think debates are irrelevant. Luckily, what? they're cutting the mics out on Trump so they can actually speak. If you're Trump supporters, just know I'm from New York City. He only cares about himself. He's using you. Okay. He's not going to do all the stuff he says he's going to do. So here he is standing outside of the debate, holding a Biden-Harris sign. The young man asks him, who do you think won the debate? Because he thinks that Biden lost, which is obvious he thinks Biden lost, he's saying debates are irrelevant. So it's only irrelevant when your outcome isn't what's happening. That's when it's irrelevant. Come on, bro. Like This is the problem that I have with people. You're extremely biased towards one side no matter what. And this is the, what's wrong with voters now. You are so biased to um, President Biden that you refuse to say, man, maybe he could have done better in the debate. Maybe he could have did this better. Come on, bro. You have to be fair. He probably had a lot of abortions himself. And, you know, he, he just makes stuff up, you know. You guys ready for the debate? Oh, yes. We're ready. And what can we expect to see from Joe Biden? Up. A lot of good sense. And what about Donald Trump? What can we expect to see from Donald Trump? No comment. What about you? I'm starting to hear a lot about a good policy from Joe Biden on his end. Uh, Donald Trump, probably the same thing we've been hearing for the past four years. Revenge this, revenge that. I'm the victim. A bunch of nonsense. And what can we expect from you tonight in the debate? Oh, what you can expect is that the floor is going to be wiped with Sleepy Joe's face. It's going to be a huge mess. Mm. It's going to look like elder abuse, but I can make that joke because he's only three years older than I am, believe me. Why do you like Joe Biden? Because he has much better policies for people in the climate. Why do you like Joe Biden? I think he does exactly what he says he's going to do. Uh, he's delivered countless times, and uh, he's the best candidate that's on the uh, on a ballot for us. It's just going to be a phenomenal debate tonight, and we got, what, two more after this? This is going to keep on knocking out the park. As you can see, people out here are going to be voting for uh, Biden come November, and we're just waiting for it. I think he's going to talk about and tr- talk about the, the accomplishments he's done. He's going to show strength that he was out here able to get up on the stand and compete with one of the worst liars in, the, in America, and he's going to show us why he should be getting another term. So Joe Biden, one of the worst liars in America. In the debate, I, re- I just did a video on this. President Biden said that he's helped the black community more than anyone. He's brought inflation to an all-time low and that under his ruling, inflation is the lowest it's been. I looked it up during my video and it was literally the opposite. Deflation was the lowest it's been. And I don't mean this, I don't mean this as a joke. I mean this literally when Donald Trump was in office. It was the it was the lowest. And then when Biden went to office, it it was it was liter- it was the highest it's ever been. So I, that's a lie right there. And I'm not trying to bully Joe Biden and saying, 
oh, he's a he's a terrible president or anyone who supports him is terrible. Hey, if that's what you think, that's what you think. I don't even know enough about everything he's done to say that. What I do know is you say you sitting up here saying that Joe Biden is is basically the the perfect candidate as if he had a as if he didn't have a hard time even speaking on stage. Look like he's about to pass out. And you're saying Donald Trump was a terrible liar. I've heard Joe Biden lie on stage. I, I we all heard it. So uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the best approach to take, man. Biden is out here, and one of the campaign promises is free ice cream. Yeah. We want be. some free ice cream, yeah. And what can we expect from Joe Biden tonight here in the debate? I think he's going to knock it out. I think he's going to do a great job. He's going to show uh, what he showed during the State of the Union, that he's still a great president, and he's going to have a great another four years. And ma'am, your shirt says, woman for Biden, Biden, Harris. Biden. And what makes you like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris so much? I think that, really, if we're talking about contrast, there's only two people in this race of currently three, Trump versus Kamala and Biden who are really showing that they are in solidarity with women. They're here to protect women's rights. The alternative is threatening to rip them away and already got started with that. What uh, rights would Donald Trump take away from women? Abortion, um, which I consider to be a uh, right. What do you think? When I hear that, and this is a real question because I am Christian, how is abortion only considered a woman's right? And the reason I'm asking that is what is abortion? How do you define abortion? Actually. I'm not even going to speculate. I'm going to look it up. The definition. Because I really want to know. Abortion defined. The deliberate, the deliberate termination of a human pregnancy most often perform the first 28 weeks of pregnancy. So abortion is obviously correlation to pregnancy. And what is pregnancy? Giving birth. The, the, you're, you're, it's the coming to life of a human. So the reason I'm even going all down this path is because when you're saying abortion is a woman's right, which is a woman's body, so it would be a woman's right, it's not specifically only a woman's right because there is a literal child. Unless you get into the weird, the weirdness about when does life start, when does life begin, that's a whole different discussion. But if you believe life begins when when the baby's in the mother's womb, then it's not just a woman's rights. It's a baby's rights too. That's what I think. Let me know what you think. I may have a, you may have a different perspective, but let's continue. What do you think America should do with abortions? Um, should it be a federal, should it be something that's issued at the federal level or at the state level? I think that our candidate is um, for women, women's health care, as far protected as we can get it. Okay, so pro-abortion or like? I'll leave that to him to say for sure. You? I'm, I'm pro-abortion. you think Joe Biden will win the debate? I am highly hopeful that he will, and I, I'm confident that he will, you know? Let's go Biden, you know? Okay, say hindsight's tomorrow. Yeah? Does Joe Biden win the debate? Um, I, I definitely think so, you know? I mean, I think that right now, we have the chance to see who these people are, right? If Joe Biden's putting on a mask, we'll see that. If Trump is putting on a mask, we'll see that, you know? I think it's that chance for them to really show who they are as a leader. One thing I will say is during the debate, I can tell that Biden did some level of research on the questions. And what do I mean by that? Either he did it or his team did it. I honestly think his team did it because sometimes it sounded like he was reading like straight off of a script. It was actually pretty impressive. They would ask him a question and he would answer it so specifically as if he already knew every question that was going to be asked. Whereas Donald Trump, although... Um, Donald Trump was extremely, um, I would say, specific in, 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 in the debate. He was very concise in how he communicated. It sounded like, to me, they didn't tell him the questions beforehand, which I don't consider a bad thing because if he was doing that off of the top of his head, based off just everything he knows about a presidency, that's still pretty impressive. But Biden definitely seemed like he knew what the questions were. Although Biden did have a hard time speaking, it sounded like. <laughs> but anyways, let's continue. And the type of society they want to build for people in America. Awesome. And obviously you're for Joe Biden. Say Joe Biden makes a fool of himself t tonight. Yeah. Would that make you want to vote for Donald Trump? Um, I think that uh, that's kind of a, like a really like uh, silly question because I think that could go both ways. I think that if I was a Trump supporter and I saw Trump acting, you know, silly or not his best or even with Biden, I think it definitely should make any voter do more research on who they want to vote for. 
I right, think they should right. always keep an open mind. And here at the debate, a group of Palestinian protesters have showed up, and I don't really know what they're doing, but they are making a lot of noise here on this corner. We're gonna go check it out right now. Arrest Donald Trump! Put him in jail! Arrest Donald Trump! Put him in jail! Lock him up! Lock him up! 34 felonies! Lock Chill. him up! Biden! What have you done for us lately? Cease who side is she even on? I don't even know. What is she even protesting? It sounds like she's protesting everyone at this point. <laughs> you anti-Biden, anti-Trump, anti- Like, you just anti. Now! God bless y'all. Go vote. Why should they lock Donald Trump up? 34 felonies and more. I mean, I have friends who can't get jobs, a nine to five job with one felony. And I'm trying to understand how this man is able to run in states where, where there are felons who can't even vote. The debate is currently going on live right now. We're going to be speaking to people about what they think about the debate right now. And eventually, when it's over, who won the debate? The debate's not over yet, but so far, what have you seen? Uh, it's been, it's been pretty scary. So Joe is looking sleepy and uh, Trump is looking like he normally do. Trump's looking pretty sharp right now. Yeah, looks he like. is. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think about the line when, Joe said, when Donald Trump said, I didn't think Joe know what he just said. <laughs> I think he's corrected what he said, unfortunately. And more asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. <sighs> it's, it's a scary situation. Trump looks like he's getting the upper hand. Don't want to admit it, but it is what it is. And before the debate, who did you want to win? Um, I'm going to always be a Democratic because I'm doing the whole uh, straight up and down thing voting with what my my community is so even though i really wonder how an entire black community got synonymous with the democratic party i don't know that was the i really don't know how that happened but <laughs> here we are it is what it is i wouldn't go no other i wouldn't go any other way but democrat and even if joe biden does perform horribly tonight you're still gonna keep voting for him i'm still gonna keep voting for him what do you think joe biden's thinking right now you know what? I don't know if Joe Biden knows what he is thinking. Uh, I just wish him. I wish him well. So far with the debate, what have you been seeing? Um, I've been seeing a debate between our two candidates, um, hearing some interesting responses. And with what you saw in the debate, mm -hmm. who aligns more with your policies? Who will we be voting for? Yeah, um, I will be voting for Joe Biden. Yes, I feel like he aligns with the um, strategic and structural change that I want to see and want to continue to see from him. So that is where I will be aligning my vote. This even, even with his performance here in the debate, you're still going to be voting for him? Even with my performance, I'm aware of different um, impediments that he has going on. Impediments? Impediments? He's just old. That was that. That's really what it is. He... He just is getting he's just getting up there and this is no offense to him at all but it sounded like he was just having a hard time existing on the stage and anyways I didn't pause it to talk about his age I paused it to talk about the fact that no matter what happens people will still vote for who they want to vote for and I think that's a big problem when it comes to politics specifically. No, not just politics. Well, actually, definitely politics because that's life-threatening. It affects real lives. Joe, Joe Biden could have said anything on the stage and people will still vote for him. It's like, at what point do we say enough is enough? You should want to vote for the best candidate because at the end of the day, this candidate will represent you and your country. It's not about who you like more. It's about who you think will be the best. If you are a hardcore conservative Republican, but let's say a Democratic um, candidate comes into office and you know this Democratic candidate will be better for our future or be better for your family, you need to make the responsible decision and vote for that candidate and vice versa. If you are a hardcore Democrat, a hardcore liberal, and you know a, a Republican comes into office and they will be better for the country, you need to make the hard decision and vote for them. It's really that simple. It shouldn't be about who you like more. That's so that's so foolish to me. But if you want to see the rest of this video, I'll have the link in the description. Make sure you check out this channel. He makes amazing videos. It is LFR Jojo, and I'll check you guys out later.